He's gonna put you in the Hey guys, now. we're leaving my house now to go see Hayden Christensen. Here's my mom. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Here's grandma. I feel like I'm gonna vomit, so we have to go. Okay guys, we're leaving the house now. I'm really nervous. I'm scared that I forgot something for my outfit. Except I'll have the biggest outfit and the shoes. Do you think that Hayden's gonna be like mean or nice? So too. All right, day Comic Con. She's giving like 20 minutes from Comic Con, 30, and it's like 11 o'clock. Um, we'll do full full fit tour afterward, but we've got like six hours till I get a kid. So excited! On the road there. Well, what? Forgot his water bottle. Maybe found it. Yippee! Now we're on the way. We made it. It took 20 minutes to get one mile down the road, if not more than that. Um, but we're finally in the parking garage, and we're headed up to the convention now. Some cool one though. Literally all of those people are for Hayden Christensen and um, Ahsoka. All of those people. until our session with him. I'm getting a little nervous. Getting a little nervous. Um, it's been fun so far. There's like so many people that we like can't even walk or do anything and it's just gonna be worse when we go into like the Hayden section because literally like all the people here are coming to see Hayden. So we'll see how it goes. We're in the line for the line for Hayden Christensen now. Pizza, pizza. It's like a million hours late so we'll be here for quite a while two hours later so now we're in the actual line for Hayden and I'm really nervous oh, I'm so nervous I'm really yeah. two hours later shaking so bad after this that I forgot to take any videos or pictures up until we went to their panel. So, there you go. This is the evening with Hayden and Rosario panel that we got to attend. This camera points at 
you. Go Pats. Here we go. day of just trying out the new costume because it finally it felt like I wasn't doing cosplay because it was a new outfit so this was the continuation of the story so I have like pictures of me with Shauna like just like doing jumping jacks and I think they're like is that a good sign is that gonna be annoying <laughs> so the Star Wars universe is so vast and there's so many characters and you guys play some of the most beloved characters of all of them if you could remove yourself from those characters, who are your other favorite characters in the Star Wars universe besides Ventures? I mean, I cut my hair to have, you know, room under my head tails. And uh, I kept just thinking about how cool it is as I've been learning how to use two sabers. That, I mean, that would be a really good cosplay. That would be a good Halloween costume. I'd shave my head. I'd do it. Ventures? <laughs> Um, amazing. Um, I, I mean, there's so many great characters in Star Wars. Uh, but I, honestly, when I when I went to go do the Obi Wan show, I started watching all the Clone Wars, um, and I fell in love with the Ahsoka character. I just thought it was such a a, a great character and, and so nicely developed. Uh, and then when I saw the Mandalorian and, and I saw you bring it into live action. So, so happy. All right, it's the next day, and now we're going to church. Uh, it's called Traders Point Church or something, and it looks pretty cool. We always try to go like the biggest church around the area whenever we travel, so we're trying this one out, seeing how that goes. But first, we're gonna get coffee. Um, yesterday was crazy. I was shaking and shivering the whole time after. And hey! It was just so crazy. I guess I can't believe it. <laughs> Next time that we see he's around the area, we're gonna go and get my pictures signed by him. Because it was like so rushed. We were like in line for like three hours because the um, they scheduled autographs and photos at like the same time. So he was like going from autograph to photo, autograph to photo. He was like taking it like it was so unfair because like he was taking forever with like the first sessions where he was like talking to them and stuff because he's just like a nice little Canadian man and he wants to connect with everybody and then they were like hey running out of time so then his like PR team or press team whatever they were like made the last sessions go like super fast like like literally like seconds in between each picture and then we got into like the line and I was like panicking already because like when I was in line, somebody had said like, oh, he's taking his time with all the people, that's why it's going so long. I was like, oh, oh my gosh, now we get to like talk to him. Like, that's what I was worried about the whole time. And then they're like, this girl behind us in the line said that her friend works um, back in his like photography team or whatever. And she said that like, now they're being like super hard and strict and like making sure everybody's like, literally like taking seconds to take a picture and get them out because he had like a, panel that he had to do later that night and so we like got up into like the curtained area where they can't see anything and the lady was taking our bags she's like no hugs no no um what was the other thing 
uh, personal pictures. No personal pictures, no handshakes, and she's like, you can give him a fist bump, that's it. So then I was like, I was like mad now. Like, I was like getting, I was getting stressed out. And so, we like get up in line, and it's literally like people are taking like seconds to take pictures. It, like, it'll go flash, and then boom, and then the next person goes out, and flash, boom, gone. And so, the per people in front of us went, and this guy is like, stand up in the yellow line. And so I did, and then literally, like, as soon as I stepped in the line, it was time for me to go take a picture. And so I was, like, panicking, and then I went up to him, and he, like, gave me a hug, and then he's like, you look really pretty, and I was like, oh, thank you so much, and then I was, like, rushing, so I was like, can you please do, like, a pose with me, because I was, like, scared that he wasn't allowed to do, like, poses, like, we just have to stand next to each other, and he's like, yeah, of course I could do a pose, and I was like, can you do, like, the, M the Padme pose, where like, you're, like, hugging me, and then he, like, immediately knew, like, which pose it was, so he, like, just did it right away, and then I was panicked, so as soon as, like, we took the picture, I, like, left, but, like, I feel like I should, like, stay back a little longer and, like, wait until they, like, drag me out, but, like, it's okay, because we're gonna meet him again, and then I'll be able to talk to him and get his autograph and stuff. So it was, like, so fun. It was fast, but it was so worth it, and I was, like, shaking by the end of it. It was, like, I blacked out during it. It was amazing. And then after that, I don't know hold this. After that, um, it was called An Evening with Rosario and Hayden, where they had, like, a panel, and last minute we got into that, and it was so cool. Like, they just did, like, an interview on the stage. Like, it wasn't, like, a Q&A. But they answered questions about, like, the show and just about, like, life and stuff. And it was really cool. And it, I could tell just, like, everyone was so excited that, like, Hayden was back. And the screams when he came out were just crazy. And I could tell that he's, like, touched by it because, like he kind of got bullied out of Hollywood at first and now everyone is like that's the reason that they're coming to see all these Star Wars is now like Ahsoka and Kenobi like we're watching it for Hayden now and I could tell it really like meant a lot to him so I'm just glad that he's back in the sphere now because he's been my favorite actor since I first watched Star Wars which was like when I was like five years old so it was like a dream come true but it was amazing now we're on our way to get coffee before church so I'll update y'all. Now I'm back home after a very long weekend very exciting but very long weekend um I just wanted to give a shout out to my mom because my mom and grandma because they went together and got me this gift of being able to go there and see him because they knew that it was like a lifelong dream of mine so I just wanted to give thanks to them because they're awesome this is a little card they gave me so yeah it was amazing. I can't wait to go again and see him and get his autograph and everything. Such a sweet guy. But yeah, that's the end of my first little vlog.